A weak hip extensor gait pattern without compensation would result in falling forward. And this is because upper body weight wants to keep the body going forward. And in order to counteract that flexion moment, you need an extension moment. So hip that's... extensors are needed and they're not there, so you fall forward. Instead, what can happen with compensation is for every st stance phase of that weak hip extensor side, the upper body could go into extension. Instead of body weight creating a flexion moment, upper body weight will now create an extension moment, making it so your hip extensors won't have to work as hard. And that's demonstrated here. If there was bilateral weakness, however, one thing that could be helpful is to just keep your arms backward and upper body backward as well for the same reason to keep the body weight posterior to the hip which would create hip extension torque and not hip flexion torque another thing that's not demonstrated is you could the patient could go into extreme posterior pelvic tilt for the same reason to get body weight posterior to the hip joint